Dress codes are used all over the world in many different schools. There are rules about how much of your shoulders can be shown, how long your shorts can be, and many more. However, there are also many schools that have a dress code, but teachers don't enforce the rules of what you can and cannot wear. So if your school doesn't enforce a dress code, what's the point of having one? We believe that dress code should not be so strict. What's your opinion of the school dress code? The school dress code, I think, is pretty good. Um, I know some students get away with a few things that we don't pay attention to, but all in all, compared to the other schools, I think our kids don't abuse it that much. Do you think that it's important to have one? Absolutely. If you didn't have a code, it would be untelling what students would wear to school. Do you think all the teachers enforce the dress code? Uh, not consistently. Some people are a little more concerned than others, but that's the way it goes. Um, what are the reasonable punishments for not obeying the dress code? Uh, it's in it's in the dress code. We'll, we'll write you up the first time, and then it just goes progressively on. So you'll get detentions, and then it'll lead up to Saturday schools. Do you think public schools like Miami should have a uniform? No, no. Have you ever felt considered having a uniform? No. How many students do you think actually follow the dress code? How many students follow the dress code? Okay. I would say 85, 90 percent. Do you think do teachers have a dress code? No. Do you think they should? Well, I, I think they have their own professional ethics that uh, teachers wear, what they're supposed to wear. But I don't think it's written on paper. It might be, but I don't think so. What is my opinion of it? Yeah. JV baseball? I agree with it. I think there should be. Yeah. And it's only because, most likely, because I came from an era when that was required. Anyways, so it's something I'm used to. Do you think it's important for all schools to have them? Um, yeah. Why? Why? Well, I think I don't have an issue with someone expressing themselves through their clothing as long as it's not revealing. How's that? And that goes both ways, male and female. Mm -hmm. Alright. Yeah. Um, do you think that all schools should have a uniform? Or? No. No, I don't like the uniforms. You don't? No. Because that doesn't allow some individuality. What do you think are reasonable punishments for students if they don't follow them? Well, whatever the rules are, the rules are made for a reason, right? Mm -hmm. And if they get broken, there is discipline, right? So whatever the discipline is for that rule, I think that's appropriate. Okay. What, do you, what do you think of the dress code in general? Okay, I don't really know exactly what's in the dress code. Um, I think it says stuff like, don't wear hats or something, and no holes in the jeans. Is that still a thing? Yeah, I'm not above the... Like, yeah, I'm not bus. real clear on it, and the reason I'm not real clear is because we've never really been super strict on it. Now, if we were going to get super strict, I'll look at it and be on board as the team, but I don't even really know what it says right now. So do you think it's important to have one? I think it is, and here's the reason. Sometimes when I'm teaching class, and I usually don't notice what you guys are wearing or whatever, because you wear whatever you want to wear. And, uh, but sometimes I'm walking around and I'm teaching class and I look over and I look down and there's stuff and it's coming right out at you and I'm like, whoa, we gotta cover that up. So that is when we need some dress code happening. When it distracts the teacher, I can only imagine the young gentleman with all their hormones running and whatnot going on because girls don't understand that they are noticing it. Not all the boys, because some of the boys are, they just are okay, but some of them are like, that's all they live for. I mean... You know some of the boys. Yeah. So, yes, I do think it's important. What do you think is the reasonable punishment? For I think that they should uh, have to wear a shirt over their parts that are hanging out or maybe have some different pants or something. Like we keep some sweats in the office. Like, hey, that's a little too much action I'm seeing down there. So some sweats would be a good alternative. I think that would be good. Do that a couple times, talk to the person, and then you got to start doing some punishment. If we're going to enforce it, that's what you got to do. Yeah. Dress codes are necessary. However, they should not be so strict about what we can and cannot wear.
Clothing is a way for students to express their individuality. Therefore, we should be able to wear more of what we want.